Welcome to Logika Baru Village. This is a no-pressure environment for you to practice all the basic skills needed to survive in combat. If you're new to joint operations or first-person shooters, proceed straight ahead to the marketplace and you'll be instructed on basic movement and player controls. If you're looking for information on how to use the armory, proceed to the concrete building to the left of your starting position. When you're done, Either of the teammate-driven trucks will take you to an improvised weapons range where you can practice switching weapons and classes and engaging passive targets that won't shoot back. The armory is a key element in multiplayer games. At any point during the battle, use the armory to change your weapon loadout. In multiplayer, you can also use the armory to change your class type. Once inside the armory, press Shift to activate the armory menu. You can change your loadout by clicking on the drop-down menus. Changing your class type in multiplayer will affect the weapons available to you. The amount and type of weaponry you carry will affect the speed at which you can move. The more weight you carry, the slower you move. Your character's weight will decrease as you expend ammo or use weapons, and your speed will increase accordingly. Your total weight is displayed at the bottom of the armory menu. Click Accept or hit Shift again to exit the menu with your new loadout. There are several types of armories, from standalone buildings and trucks to small caches which can be found hidden in buildings. There is a small armory cache in the building where you started. Either of the trucks at the village will take you to our improvised weapons range. It's an easy way to practice against static targets with a variety of weapons. These are the real basics on how to control your character in joint operations. If you're new to tactical gaming, this is probably a good place to start. By default, the W, A, S, and D keys control your character's movement. Use the mouse to look around. When standing or crouched, the Q and E keys will lean your character left or right. This is useful in tactical situations for peeking around corners without completely exposing yourself. Tapping the spacebar will cause you to jump. Jumping is handy for climbing over low obstacles, like the tire barricade between the market stalls. The C, X, and Z keys allow you to switch your stance between standing, crouched, and prone. In addition to being useful for concealment, your weapon's accuracy is greatly affected by your stance. Press X to crouch and move forward under the boat rack. Crouching improves accuracy and is the best choice for stealth when your loud footsteps could alert the enemy. Pressing Z will put you in the prone position. This is the best position for stability and firing accuracy, but the worst position for quick mobility. If you want to practice climbing ladders, there's one leaning against the market building. If you walk straight towards it, you'll attach automatically. Simply look up using the mouse if you want to climb up, and look down if you want to climb down. When you reach the top of the ladder, continue moving forward and you'll automatically hop off. The roofs of the marketplace aren't high enough to do any serious damage from falling, so feel free to practice your movement controls, including jumping from rooftop to rooftop.
You can follow the waypoints to the docks and practice some more advanced moves, or head back to the armory by the start point. You can see the waypoints on the small round overhead view spin map located on the lower right portion of your HUD. The plus and minus keys will zoom the map in and out, and the F7 key will cycle through available waypoints. Cross the pier walkways to the boat dock. Use your newfound skills to jump and strafe across the uneven docks. You can execute some additional moves, which will come in handy when in combat. While running forward, you can dive by simultaneously hitting the prone key, C by default. When submerged, you'll see a breath meter appear. If you don't surface before the meter expires, you will drown. Exit the water by climbing out on the ladders. Swim forward and look up with the mouse to attach and climb up. You will detach automatically when you reach the top and move forward. Try shooting your weapon while in the water. You'll notice that your accuracy is greatly diminished. You won't be able to sight in while swimming either, so engagements from the water are extremely dangerous. While prone, the Q and E keys will roll you to the left or right. It's difficult to shoot while rolling, but it could get you safely behind cover if you're caught while lying down. Feel free to jump into the water and practice swimming. You can increase or decrease depth by looking up or down and moving forward in that direction. To attach to the highlighted position on a vehicle, press Use, which is normally mapped to the Shift key. You'll see hints and tips appear every once in a while. If you'd like to disable the pop-ups, press Escape and select Options. Uncheck the Keyboard Hints and Game Hints boxes, and you won't get any more pop-ups. To switch positions while attached to a vehicle, hold down the shift key and press the number key that corresponds to the new position. Refer to the vehicle icon on the bottom left of your HUD. If another player occupies a position, you cannot switch there. Press the shift key again to detach from the vehicle. If you happen to be looking at another highlighted position, you'll attach there instead of detaching from the vehicle.
The vehicle targets will automatically respawn, so you will have an endless supply of targets on which to practice. Simply exit the mission when you're ready to quit by pressing the escape key. Escape will also allow you to change some of the game options while the training mission is paused. If you want to get a closer look at your targets, press the B key to bring up your binoculars. The binoculars will give you range information on distant targets. The display at the bottom of the binocular view indicates distance to the crosshairs in meters. During night operations, pressing N will activate your night vision goggles. The goggles are helpful for dark nights and interiors, but will limit your depth perception and contrast. Pressing Control and plus or minus will cycle the image intensity of your goggles. This is indicated by a power meter at the top right of the screen. To quickly reload, hit Shift twice when standing at the armory. This will resupply your current loadout. To help communicate with your teammates in multiplayer, you have access to two sets of contextual audio macros. F9 will bring up a menu of macros which are transmitted to all players within a local area, and F10 sends a radio broadcast over the entire map to your teammates only. Your macro options will change depending on your class, what vehicle or emplaced weapon you're attached to, or what game type you're playing. which is accessed with a V key. The commander's map allows you to view the entire map. In multiplayer, you can create or join a fire team, issue orders and waypoints to players on your fire team, and mute or punt specific players. Use caution if the game is not paused while in the commander's map. Be sure you have good coverage. 